the Sis Buminati. What the Roman at down? Some Hearts of Iron 4. Got the Lord of the Rings mod. I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings. I've known about this mod for a while, but I'm just now getting around to being able to play it. Uh, I gotta be honest, when I seen the countries you could play with, it there wasn't much of a decision to be made. I knew I was going to go with Mordor. I have to be Sauron. The ring was just too pretty to destroy in Mount Doom. I just... It's a beautiful ring. What the hell is the Soviet Union doing in Middle Earth? I mean, Stalin... The story goes Stalin wanted to be a part of the Fellowship, but he, he got preoccupied with killing a couple million of his own people. So, uh... They replaced him with Mary. Okay, I know most of these, but some of them... I do not recognize the names. I wonder if those were just in the book. Or, uh, I just don't remember. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I was getting my armies grouped up. Got my, um, Orc Vanguard Divisions. Got my <laughs> Orcs of the Blood Gate. Got my Orc Engineer Divisions. Obviously, you need at least four Orc Engineer Divisions, but... I was trying to put some generals on it. Check this out. A boom! Got some badass orc generals. And these little... I don't even know what to say about goblin generals. Who in the hell in Middle Earth would trust a damn goblin with their fighting forces? Not me. I'm going straight orc. I don't trust no damn goblins. And who would? Ha! I'll tell you who. I really don't know who. So I see in the technology that they have, um, upgraded some of the infantry equipment, but regretfully, that is it. They haven't done anything else. I'd like to see, like, here, those big-ass, um, War elephant things, you could have like ballistas or like siege devices. I hope they go through all this and upgrade it. But this was funny, look. You got a crude torch. Well, obviously that helps out with land night attacks by 10%. I'm going to go ahead and grab me a shield. So I've been looking at this focus tree for probably far too long here. Um, apparently... You can resist Sauron. Although I thought playing with Mordor, you would just instantly be down with Sauron, but apparently not. You gotta submit to him, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I can hurry up and get down here to torture this golem little bastard. Let's not forget, don't feel sorry for this guy. He killed another hobbit and got away with murder. Okay? Choked him out. It's not cool. Then we can sh search the Shire, we can try to intercept the ring. Um, and then there's this this fate of Mordor, and then you go to Conquest of Middle-Earth. And here you can go to play the long game or swift victory. Um, I'm going to play the long game because you reach out to Isengard, that sounds more like the story, and reach out to Angmar and then enslave these... Uh, human races here so that is what i'm going to do but first i'm going to grab this i i, I want the extra research slot so i'm going to go down this centralized industry get more civilian factories uh some more military factories and yeah grab that then we'll come over here and uh submit to sauron Let's go ahead and hurry up and grab... Actually, hold on a sec. Was this... Yeah, that's 70 days. That's 28 days. That's only 14 days. So... We can... Yeah, we can get to Torture and Gollum fast when we're done. That's only a... 270... Dayers. Actually, it's only one. Alright, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab this. 
All right, we've got the War of the Ring. The War of the Ring evolves around many things, but of course a small golden trinket lies at the center of it all, the One Ring. In this month, the One Ring adopts the form of national spirit that grants a very significant stat boost to all your visions. The nations of Lothrian, Isengard, Gondor, and Mordor can try to obtain the ring through their focus tree during specific time frames. Uh, do, 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 do. At or around 1936, Rivendell will invoke Elrond's council. The nations of Gondor, Morkward, and Erebor can now choose to add their finest warrior, a decent replacement, or no one at all to the fellowship. Eh, blah, blah, watch to see who's uh, throwing down with the fellowship, blah, blah, blah. Should no nation manage to obtain the ring by 1943, Frodo will destroy it and the nation of Mordor will be severely weakened. That's great. I picked the one nation that gets a huge debuff. Oh, Lord Balian is dead. After having reclaimed the mountain of Erebor, for his kin, the legendary dwarf Balian has suffered a tragic fate in his quest to reclaim the mines of Moria. Moria seems lost as military experts estimate the dwarf's chance of survival is 80 to 1. That is not very good. The free orcs of Moria declared war on Moria. Uh, alright. And there we are. Let's not forget something. That the dwarves, they, they just, they dug too deep and unleashed an ancient evil. So I was looking around uh, my surrounding nations here. Uh, the realm of Dagorod only has a few divisions, so I'm going to go ahead and try to invade them. Um, realm of Harad. Um, I... Th if I remember right, the, the land south of Mordor is the ones that had those big ass elephant, uh, war elephant things. And these guys, if you look, are like those mercenaries that came out of uh, the gates of Mordor. The Black Gates. Into um, the realm of Dagorlad. Uh oh, we've got some paranormal activity in the Shire. Um, eldest member mysteriously vanished during his birthday celebration. Bilbo Baggins was just giving his birthday speech when reportedly vanished into thin air. Allegedly, the disappearance occurred shortly after the arrival of a firework specialist, Gandalf the Grey, at the village. He is being detained as a suspect for now. All right, we got that. I am just waiting for my um, production to catch up so that I can actually invade. I'm pretty far behind with infantry equipment. Looks like the free orcs of Moria took one state. Damn. Moria is no longer in dwarven hands. Okay, got the beating heart. Grab that. Uh-oh, wizards clash. A physical fight erupted in the tower. Uh, oh, Isengard during a heated debate between two wizards. Hmm, Saruman, leader of the Order of Wizards, reportedly closed the door on his former confidant Gandalf the Grey, prompting him to... Throw Saruman off his feet. Gandalf the Grey was also reportedly arrested during the clash for interfering with Isengard affairs. Alright, we got our central militarization. Now we can grab our extra research slot. I was looking at this. Um, and you got this military effort here. And I think, obviously... Sauron wouldn't care, no price would be too high, except this little branch sucks. I want these armored units, um, two 50% research bonuses on armored, plus you get this minimized death toll. So look at this, we got a little bit of communism going on. Under the Council of Orc Syndicates. 
then we are what? <laughs> Sauron is fascist. Of course he is. Um, let's do a little bit of anti-communist raids for, for, you know, perk it up a little bit. You know what? I think I'm ready to invade here. Um, I've already... Yeah, let's go. Let's let those guys get into place and we will start our invasion. So I got... Um, I got the instant war mod turned on. Okay, we've got our war declared. Get everybody turned on. Going up against five units, remember. The King of Rohan is diagnosed with hypothyroidism. The King of Rohan, Theoden, has fallen terribly ill. Medical professionals have concluded the disease to be hypothyroidism. Oh, that's hilarious. That's actually pretty funny. So for some reason, even though we're going up against five units, we're kind of struggling. You know, it's their Hobbit inventor discovers third breakfast. A small step for Hobbit, one giant leap for Middle Earth. All right, we finally got our extra research slot. Now, I, I had first anticipated going right down here real quick, but I kind of want to grab this military effort and get down here. So let's do that. Okay, our infantry division's doing all right. Um, these guys, I just probably have too many guys crushed, crammed into there, but it looks like they're about to break through. All right, there we go. Okay, we're finally starting to get a pretty decent push. It is swamps, so um, it's going a little bit slow. Angmar seeks independence. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Minimize the death toll. Rivendell invokes a secret council. Lord Elrond summons several notable representatives to Rivendell where a rather mysterious gathering was held. Up oh, here it is, the Fellowship of the Ring. We're just about to take the capital here. Yeah, I don't understand why this is taking so long. I guess just the marshes and swamps makes for a um, slow advance. All right, we've minimized our death toll. Now we can grab the armored units and then we'll start grabbing the exciting stuff. So far, we've lost a thousand. They've lost 13. We've got somebody encircled. Let's go ahead and uh, knock him out of there. All right, we've got our armored units now. Let's go ahead and restore Barador and start heading down this track. We are carving this place up. Uh, capitulation. They're at 68. As soon as we grab... Saruman denounces Rohan's integrity. I think that was needed. Anyways, um, after we grab this, I'm thinking they should capitulate. Maybe. Alright, we're about to grab the capital here. Yeah, that's gonna get it. 98, 99. Boom! The realm of Dagorlod has capitulated. Take all states. We got our restored Barador, which means we can establish a hierarchy. Only takes 28 days. 
So I'm in here trying to fix up my templates a little bit, and they've changed some of the things around. Look at this. You got some archers, some crossbow marksmen, siege ladder brigades, standard bearers, skirmishers, mountaineers. And then uh, for support, you also got some interesting things. Support siege ladders, support crossbow marksmen. Uh, I don't know if these ones have anything. Uh, no. All right, we've got our hierarchy. Now we can submit to Sauron. And it's done already. So let's go ahead and uh, grab this hunt for the ring. Look at Mordor now, by the way. Looking badass. Okay, we got our hunt for the ring. Now... Yes! Torture the shit out of Gollum. I mean, just... Hook him up to an IV to keep him alive longer so you can torture the shit out of him. Literally, make him shart himself. Okay, that was quick. He got tortured. Um... Hold on, what is this? After the 1st of January 1937. Okay, let's gather the Nazgul's. Oh, shit! You get the uh, ring race as generals. The witch king of Angmar. Nice. I did not read that, I guess. All right, we've got Gather the Nazgul's. Let's look at the badasses right now. Which King of Angmar got a skill level of six? Four, three, three, two, two. And you got these shitty goblins again. I'm going to put them to death, I think. Okay, let's uh, search for... Why does it say bypass? Uh, okay, bypass it, I guess. I don't know why. Everything checked out. Okay, so this is between May 1940 and November 1940. Okay, when May comes along. Or when 1940 comes along. I need to remember to do that, which I probably will not do, which pisses me. I'm already pissed off at myself because I know I will not remember to do that. Let's go ahead and grab the fate of Mordor so we can get down to enslaving some people. Got the fate of Mordor. Conquest of Middle-earth. Aragorn, crown king of Gondor. Hmm. Very interesting. King Theoden cast out former chief advisor. Oh, so it wasn't hypothyroidism. It was cream of worm tongue. Well, I would, uh, I would put those doctors to death. All right, we're going to grab, play the long game. See, I don't know if I'm going to go east or west first. Should I go east? Or should I go um, hit up Saruman? That's a good question that I don't have the answer for. Kingdom of Gondor declares war on Kingdom of Angmar. What? I don't even know where that's at. Kingdom of Gondor, so it would have to be close, you would think. Uh, we got a f faction invite. Kingdom of Angmar, Where? who is that? Uh, am I just, oh, it's up here. Why the hell would they be declaring war on somebody that's all the way up there? Uh, well, that's 
kind of strange. I wonder if I should add them. Yeah, I guess let's go ahead and invite them to the faction. I don't have to go to war. If they call me up. Okay, so now let's go ahead and seek the allies in the east, I guess, first. So check out the faction now. The Dark Pack. We got our Sikh allies in the east. Now I don't know exactly what to do. Enslave the north. I've already pretty much done that. I've taken them out. Enslave the south. Enslave the east. Uh, let's start with the south, I guess. Would it help if I improve relations with them, I wonder? I don't know. I don't know how it works, but... I mean, why not try it, at least? Angmar denounces the Witch King. Well, why would you do that? He looks badass, bro. Hard stands firm. But our calls have been heard by the people of Harad, and an uprising may be sparked. What? That's bullshit. I'm gonna boost your f fascism and stage a coup. Alright, well, let's try to enslave the East then. Is this going to be one of those things where nobody joins? We're not cool enough? Nobody wants to join my faction. Spark of Harad Civil War! Boom, there it is. Nice. Mordor declares war on the realm of Harad. Harad Wraith de declares war on the realm of Harad. All right, well, let's go help him out. What is this? How's there people right here? Did they parachute in? Damn, they must have parachuted in. That's crazy. Let's go wipe them out, shall we? Frickin' sit in and parachute units. You gotta be kidding me. Take him out. Okay, anyways, um, alright, we have arrived with some of our units here. Okay, so we got a battle plan here. Let's go ahead and get everybody started up and see if we are able to just wreck these guys. How many units do they have? 12 to 16. Yeah, we should just be able to absolutely wreck them. And that appears to be what's happening. They are no match for Mordor and Sauron. Closing in on their capital. Oh, Ruan accepts. They have submitted. Let's look at our faction now. Nice. Hold on, what happened to these bros? Oh, when they went against... Um, who'd they go against? Angmar. The Witch King. We don't need them anyways. Well, let's go ahead... We need to, we need to hurry up and get through this because we need these to intercept the ring. All right. Ruin declares for Sauron. You're damn right they do. They know who's the winning team. They're watching this war from afar. They want to send 18 divisions? Damn. That's fine, but I don't think the war's going to last that long. Uh, I can't open it. Bug! We have a bug. Report this shit. Yindoeth yields to Saruman. 
it's all coming together. We've got our last group of orders. I'm thinking these guys are going to capitulate pretty soon. I wish I could check it out to see, but I can't. But their capital is right here. As you can see, they're just getting absolutely wrecked. I'm going to go ahead and grab these guys and just send them right at the capital. Doggerlotta has submitted. Thank you. Let's go ahead and establish control over the dead marshes. Then we will be ready for that so I can forget about it. Oh! Damn, just like that. Capitulated. The dead marshes yields to Mordor. Hell yeah, look at the dark pack now. Half of Middle Earth is now with Sauron, about to be Saruman and Sauron. So I'm assuming before long we're going to be going to war with Gondor, so I'm bringing in all my troops, getting prepared for that. Uh, the plan is before I wrap this episode up, I'm going to finish this. That's about ready to happen, so then whenever... May 1940 comes along, we can grab that. But I'm going to seek allies in the west, I'm going to reach out to Isengard, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Hopefully, Saruman will join us, and uh, we can end this on a good note. The dead rise in Minas Tirith. Thousands of Gondor soldiers shuddered in fear yesterday as armies of ghost soldiers overwhelmed the Pelennor fields. Shock was tempered with heartfelt relief as the soldiers realized the dead were fighting on their side. Heh. <laughs> Alright, we have established control over the dead marsh. We are ready for the intercept. Let's go ahead and seek out our allies in the west. Arthur Dane seeks to reunite Arnor. This is historic day. Eh, uh, not too much. You're all gonna get wrecked by Mordor, so it's no big deal. It's like, whatever. Damn, Prince Theodred has died. The second Marshal of Rohan, eldest son of King Theoden, and rightful heir to the throne died. Orcs originating from Isengard overran the region. How sad. Well, look what we got here. The dawn of the Rivendell Initiative. The aim is at opposing Mordor's influence on western regions. You're too late, bros. Too late. Is that a faction now? Hey, they did get this coalition. Rivendell Damn! There's a couple different factions going on now. Okay. We are ready to reach out to Isengard. Okay, we finally got our reach out to Isengard. Um, nothing happened. I guess he does not want to join us yet. Okay, well, let's establish our control over the south then. Um, so, we've got the Rivendell Initiative. We got the Arnor Coalition, the Gondor Alliance, the Northern Protection League, and more Bashkam. And then a bunch of uh, neutral countries. I've got to think that Isengard will join us at some point. Because the Ents are going to attack them at some time at the game, so they're going to want to join us, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But look at the Dark Pack. Taking up half of Middle-Earth. Hopefully we can just wrap this up in another episode. We can grab the ring when that event comes up. 
We won't take the debuff and we will just wreck through the elvish realms in the realm of man and uh, throw around a couple dwarves while we're at it. Anyways, bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the shit. I like, subscribe, and I'll see you back here for the next upload. Peace. Bruminati. Out. <laughs>